And thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hawker. Topping our 10 at 10 tonight. Some new developments in a shooting that injured a St. Paul police officer. Fox 9's Maury Glover is live in St. Paul where a press conference wrapped up about 8 o'clock tonight. And so, Maury, tell us about what investigators have learned in this case. Well, that officer who was shot in the leg has now been released from the hospital, and police shared details of the circumstances that put him there in the first place. Today was a scary day for St. Paul. Uh, one of the uh, most scary calls that American receive is that an officer has been uh, injured by gunfire on duty. Uh, we are um, uh, all breathing a sigh of relief that our officer is uh, recovering. Uh, we are uh, in, in, in prayer alongside uh, the families of the involved individual. Now, police were called to Creton and Marshall Avenues around 2 o'clock this afternoon. A woman told 911 she had an order for protection against a man who was following her and ramming his vehicle into her vehicle. She said the man had a gun and had broken out one of her windows. When police arrived, an officer confronted the man who fired at the officer. The officer fired back, wounding the suspect who was taken to Regions Hospital with life-threatening injuries. I'm sad that we have to be here today to have a discussion like this, but our city's experienced six domestic violence homicides this year. Um, our officers get called these situations. When they're asked for help, they're going to respond. Um, no one in our community, particularly our officers, wants things to turn out this way. Now, the BCA will be investigating this case, and the woman who called 911 was not seriously hurt while all this was going on. Reporting live in St. Paul, Maury Glover, Fox 9.